Hi, welcome to another sharing session with me, James Lim. And today I shall talk about the effects of COVID on Singapore property market. Now, a lot of my clients for the last few weeks during this circuit breaker has been asking me, James, is now the right time to enter into Singapore property market? Has a lot of own homeowners desperately trying to sell your property? And has am I able to find value buy or fire sale? And I shall address all these questions that I have to you. Now, we are now in our eighth week of our circuit breaker and we are actually on phase one right now. Okay, we should expect phase two and phase three and I expect that we agents are able to do viewings on the uh, phase three onwards. Okay, and circuit breaker has been implemented since April uh, 2020. Now, this has caused a lot of transact a lot of disruption into the real estate transaction, especially for homeowners, in order to get ABSD remission. So, homeowners at that time was actually very worried. I myself was actually worried for my home buyers, and they are actually thinking that they are thinking of dropping their price down for fear that if they cannot sell your property on time, they may be subject to ABSD. So what is this ABSD remission about? To give you an example, let's assume that we have a Singaporean who are thinking of upgrading, okay? And for them, they actually, in order to upgrade, they need a place to stay, hence they buy a property first before selling theirs, okay? And when they buy a property, they have to pay a ABSD of 12%, okay? And in order to pay this 12%, the good news is that if they were to sell your current property after they buy, they are able to get a remission of the 12% from IRAS. Okay? So in fact, basically the whole idea is that if I were, I were to put my 12%, I sh must be able to get it back after I sell my property. However, IRAS has stated that in order to be qualified for ABSD remission, you have to dispose of your property up to 6 months upon TOP of your new property. Okay. Hence, a lot of clients who have their property already, your new property already, they are very afraid that the time is going to come out soon and hence, I will be forced to sell. If not, I have to pay 12% to the tax to the government and I'm not able to get back. Okay. Government, the Singapore government knows about this and what are they doing? Now, they have actually come up with temporary relief measures for both home buyers, home owners and developers. Okay. For example, you will see that most of them are all extension by up to six months. For example, first one, extension of project completion period or what we call PCP by up to six months, which means let's assume that a developer has to be complete his project by end of this year. Okay. However, if they are not able to complete this their project, okay, and they may be sued or get compensation from the current home buyers. Okay, hence, therefore, they have to finish building by end of this year. However, the government has actually extended this by up to six months. Secondly, for homeowners, do they need to sell off do they need to sell off your current property by six months? The answer is no, because the government has actually given them an additional six months extension. Okay, and uh, even for the disposal period where the developers has to dispose of your or, or clear your all your inventory, it has also been extended by six more months. This shows that the homeowners has a longer period to sell your property, and developers also has a longer period to clear your stocks. Okay, so what are the implications? Number one, for homeowners, they have more time to find buyers. Okay, this will give them not to pressurize to reduce selling your, your property price sharply. Okay, and there is also prevention of fire sales. Okay, homeowners are now not desperate to sell. What they are doing, a lot of them are doing a wait and see approach. They are waiting until this COVID period is over, maybe perhaps end of the year, and they have six months to sell off your property. Okay. Next, how about developers? Developers will have more time to clear your inventory, okay, or clear your stock. So they have a longer period to sell off your properties. Next, how about the Singapore property performance? How is Singapore doing? Okay, the property price index or PPI for short has actually only declined by 1%, okay, and 1% is very marginal. 
Okay, for some years, especially in 2019, property price has literally shoot up by 7.5% the entire year. Okay, so dropping by 1% quarter on quarter in the first quarter of 2020 is nothing much. Okay, so the decline is not steep enough for to cause any distress in the property market. What I would like to address is also the Singapore government is carefully monitoring the Singapore property market or the PPI. Okay, they do not want to have any distress out there in the market. Okay, now moreover during the first quarter. 2,149 private houses has actually been sold, which is still pretty decent. So we are in Singapore, we are still doing quite well. Now, however, this is something that I would like to address to my clients. Okay. Now, as an investor, you should be seeing whether right now is there window of opportunity. What type of window of opportunity am I talking about? Okay. When you are looking out there in the Singapore property market, is there any development? who are actually selling at a lower pricing, okay? Number two, how about the supply? Is there a huge supply right now out there in the market? Okay, and just to share with you, the buy now, pay later is what we call, uh, there are some developers right now who need to sell your property, okay? And they do understand that because homeowners need time to sell your property, okay? So they have this buy now, and pay later scheme, okay? Buy now means I put down the deposit and maybe one year later, I can actually pay the remaining of my fees or one year later, I can actually take the bank loan, okay? Next, look at the bank interest rate. How is the interest rate of the banks right now? Are they doing well? To give you an example, three to four weeks ago, I actually sold a unit to one of my clients and she took a bank loan. Okay, very interesting. It is a less than a million property and she took a bank loan of only 1.1%. Okay, I find this is very incredible because last year we are talking property price at uh, interest rate at 2 to 2.1%. Okay, now lastly, the weakening of the sing, sing dollar versus the US dollar. Okay, I believe this is something that uh, Singaporeans don't look into it, but me as a investor myself, I actually do look at, at this. Okay. What are the implications? Do take note, in China, okay, China people, foreigners are actually entering into Singapore property market. Yes, although they do have to pay a high uh, ABSD, however, due to the exchange rate, they are able to buy Singapore property market, uh, Singapore property at a much better discount, at a much lower rate because of the exchange rate. Okay, and uh, PRCs, China people, and uh, uh, foreigners basically, they are actually using US dollar to exchange to Sing dollar and enter it into the Singapore property market. And therefore, just to let you know that uh, actually more and more foreigners right now are actually taking this window of opportunity and entering into Singapore market. The question I'd like to ask you is that should you enter the market? Okay, and what type of property should you enter? Okay. First and foremost, I also would like to address this thing about the cooling measures. The last few years, the government since 2013 has implemented several cooling measures such as ABSD, PDSR, and SSD. Now, this has actually removed property speculators already out there in the market. So, all the, all the home buyers or home owners right now, they are not speculators, they are pure investors. And as an investor, they have the power to hold, okay? Secondly, the MAS has actually come up with something called the Delayed Mortgage Payment, okay? I've added the link here into the website, okay? And um, now, this has actually helped home buyers a lot, okay? Now, for a resale owner or an owner right now, are they forced to sell your property, okay? Or are they forced to, to sell your property at a very, very low price? The answer is no. Why? Resale owners have only one to two properties, okay? And because of this delayed mortgage payment, they can actually extend it such that they have a longer holding period and they are not so stressed on selling a property. So most of homeowners, okay, they would rather wait until the market recover or they would rather sell at the price that they want to sell, okay? On the other hand, for developers, although there is an extension by six months, but as developers, they are still doing a business. And as a business owner, they have uh, payment, they have to pay their staff, okay? Uh, they still have to liquidate, hence uh, they have to sell their properties. 
And what I saw right now is that homeowners is a bit harder to find fire sale discounts. Okay, but for from developers, I found um several developers are actually giving discount to to the home buyers. So as a home buyer, I believe that if you were to get this discount, you are potentially able to buy a property much lower than your neighbors. This is a news article that was happening in May that uh, is a proven fact to you that I would like to show it to you. Okay, now uh, a lot of seller right now want to sell your property. Okay, and hence since they can't sell your property, they decide to go under mortgage sales. Okay, now for the buyer side, buyers are also very smart. They want to 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 buy something very undervalued, so they will bid for the properties very low. Okay, but Sellers still refuse to blink. They do not want to sell cheap. And hence, uh, the transaction volume becomes very low. So basically, buyers end up empty-handed. Okay? But how about developers? I would like to share with you one development that I was actually recommending to my clients. Okay? Don't forget, buyers okay, who are and buying the second property, a Singaporean has to pay 12% ABSD. How about a foreigner? A foreigner has to pay 20% uh, 20, 20 ABSD. Now, look at this. A foreigner has to pay 20% and yet foreigners are coming in. So, they have been asking me, James, is there good property in which I can buy that can help me offset my ABSD? The answer is yes. In fact, right now for my foreign clients, I have actually introduced to them four properties, okay? And 38, your voice is one of them. Let me share with you a little bit about it. Now, why are developers giving such great discount? For example, over here in this article, now in 2015, the developer bought the land, okay? And if they were to dispose of it, if for the units that they have not sell, okay, they are also subject to paying ABSD of 4.8 million. Okay, and therefore they do not want if they were to hold on to the property, they have to pay 4.8 million of ABSD. And developers do not want to pay ABSD. Hence, the only way that they can do is to clear stock. And how to clear stock? The only way they can do is to give a fire seal. Okay, so you can see that some units on 38 job voice is actually uh the price is 2 million, is freehold, and right now they are giving a 400,000 discount, which is 1.6 million. This translate into a 25% discount, okay? And this will actually offset your ABSD, okay? And having this discount, is it good? Basically, they are buying 25 cheaper than their neighbor, okay? Or 25% below valuation. Now, 38 your voice is one example. The second example I would like to share with you is that in some district, uh, there was there's this development that is actually uh, selling for 2003 and 2004 per square foot, all right? On, when the market is at all-time high that time, the surrounding resale pricing there is actually going between 2008 to 3000 per square foot. And if you can enter at this 24,000 uh, per square foot, you are actually entering at a very, very low price. So when the market recover, you will be able to enter it with a great, you know, with a great profit that is going to cover your ABSD. That's the second one. Thirdly, there are some developments, okay, that the developer is willing to negotiate with you on the pricing, okay. Now, to give an example, there's this uh, 99 leasehold property, okay, that is actually selling for around 2003 to 2004 per square foot, while a freehold property that is nearby, that is nearer to MRT, is actually selling at 2008 to 3000 per square foot, and that is the transacted pricing that the earlier group of buyers have bought in. Okay, now, right now for these freehold properties, okay, uh, I help my client to talk about it and we can bring down to less than 2006 per square foot, which means the price of a leasehold and a freehold is very, very nearby, okay, it's very close to the price of a 99 leasehold property and this gives a very great advantage to buy a freehold property. The reason is because for normal economic times, a freehold property normally is between 30, around 20 to 30% price premium over the leasehold property. And if you can buy a freehold property close to a leasehold property, okay, basically when the market has recovered, it is in a way proven or guaranteed that you can make that 20 to 30% profit. 
Okay, how about which area to buy? In Singapore, we are actually divided into three zones. Okay, firstly, we are divided called the core central region or CCR for short. Okay, and this comprises of District One, uh, Marina area, the downtown area, the Orchard Road area, the more prime location. Okay, the city center. Next, we have the RCR. Sorry, next we have the RCR region, which is the city fringe. And this will comprise us of like uh, Arjunit area, uh, Paleva area, we have the north to Bishan, and from the west to maybe uh, East, uh, Queenstown, okay? And lastly, we have the outside central region, which is like Tampanese, Pasir Ris, uh, Pongo, Sengkang, uh, Ishun, and all the way to Jurong, uh, Boon Lay, okay? Now, let's look at the market trend, okay? All the way to 2020, okay? Now, you can see that the price for CCR region is still pretty stable. It's holding on very, very well, okay? And um, if we were to look at the RCR region, you can see that the price has actually did. And the OCR, the price has also did. So, if you ask me which are the better areas to, market, to look at, you should be looking at both the RCR region and the OCR region, okay? To find the best advantage for you, okay? Now, is there, if, CC, if CCR region is holding so well, should you enter into the CCR region? Possible, because if you can find something that is below valuation, that is over here, okay, that is below the market, and it's holding so well, when it, the market recovers at time, your property may earn even more. Okay, in conclusion, I would like to explain to you that right now, it is too early for the Singapore government to step in to reduce or to tweak any cooling measures that is beneficial for home buyers, okay? I have a lot of clients asking me right now, okay? Will the government remove ABSD, okay? And fact of the matter is that, uh, my oh, sorry, this is my personal opinion. My personal opinion is that I do not believe that the Singapore government is going to reduce the ABSD anytime sooner, okay? What the government may do is that if the market starts to fall, there are other tweaks that they can do. For example, what I do expect is that they may go, go and change this loan-to-value ratio. Okay, I believe this will be the first tweak. So what is the meaning of loan-to-value ratio? Right now, the loan-to-value ratio is actually 75%, which means if a buyer wants to buy a 1 million property, the maximum that the buyer can, can take a loan is 750000 Okay, and he must use 250000 of cash. And what I believe the first tweak will be that this loan to value ratio will become 80%. Okay, which means people can borrow more from the bank to buy Singapore property. Okay, so instead of 750000 they may now use 800000 Okay, and I'll, my last advice for all of you is that Please feel, please hunt, okay? Right now, spend some time to hunt for value buys, okay? There is really value buys out there in the market, okay? The idea is whether you can see it or not, okay? And, uh, well, I leave my contact number here. Please feel free to WhatsApp me or, or just give me a call for us to discuss more if you want to know more, okay? I am also going to add in a link below that if you want to read more of what I've discussed today, okay, I can send an article to you. If you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, or share, okay? And thank you very much. Happy hunting. Bye.